Good afternoon, everyone. Right now, we are streaming live from the Malaysian Grand Bazaar here at UDCC. KL's most vibrant shopping hub that embodies the diverse culture and heritage of Malaysia. So happy World Origami Day, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Nicholas Lil, and I will be your MC for today. So today, we are very fortunate to have Honorable His Excellency Ambassador Hiroshi Oka, Japan Embassy in Malaysia, Injik Salahuddin bin Mohammed Saleh, Chief Information Officer and Deputy Director of Policy and Planning Department, National Department for Culture and Arts, Mr. Shimada Seya, Director of Japan Foundation in Kuala Lumpur, Professor Dr. Jude Mitani, Japan Cultural Envoy, Injek Isrami Ismail, Deputy President, the Alumni Look East Policy Society, Madam To Huiwa, Branch Chief Commissioner, Kuala Lumpur Girl Guides Association, and Mr. Ng Kwan Chi, Regional Staff Info Officer, St. John Ambulance, Malaysia. So now we are going to play the kickoff video for the World Origami Day celebration. President of Malaysia Program Association to give his welcoming speech. Happy World Origami Day, everybody. My name is Kenneth. I am the founding president of Malaysia Origami Association, as well as Malaysia Origami Academy. Honorable His Excellency, Ambassador Hiroshi Oka, Japan Embassy in Malaysia, Inche Salonin bin Mat Saleh, Chief Information Officer and Deputy Director of Policy and Planning Department, National Department for Culture and Arts, Mr. Shimada Seya, Director of Japan Foundation in Kuala Lumpur, Professor Dr. Jun Mitani, Japan Cultural Envoy, and Inche Isrami Ismail, Deputy President, the Alumni Look East Policy Society. Madam Towiwa, Branch Chief Commissioner, Kuala Lumpur Girl Guides Association. Mr. Ng Kwan Chik, Regional Staff Officer, St. John Ambulance, Malaysia. Welcome all of you to World Origami Day Celebration Ceremony. And this time it's the second year we are doing the kickoff uh, virtual ceremony due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So let me share with you a little bit on the World Origami Day. Uh, this day has been celebrated since 1980 and it started off in Japan. The four ones, one, 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 in the date, November 11, actually symbolizes the four ages of a square paper that origami artists and origami enthusiasts around the world use to fold origami. So this is a very, very meaningful day as well because November 11 is also celebrated as the World Peace Day. So today is very meaningful. And in Malaysia, we have been... Uh, celebrating World Origami Day since 19, uh, since a four, uh, 2014, sorry, 2014. And officially, uh, we celebrated in 2017 when we have our, uh, our grand ceremony in the Publica Shopping Gallery, which is our venue for the Origami Academy nowadays. So this year is actually the seventh year that World Origami Day has been celebrated in Malaysia. 
right? And today, uh, we are very glad that we have a, a venue sponsored from MGB. And this is actually a hub for, to celebrate Malaysian culture. And also, we have a sponsor from uh, Freeport, uh, uh, Freeport in Malacca, the Freeport Outlet Mall, that next year, we are going to have a Malaysia Book of Record in Origami. All right, there are actually two more Malaysia Book of Record in Origami next year. So hopefully, the uh, COVID-19 pandemic situation will allow us to have a physical celebration. And uh, before I uh, stop, let me just say that I would like to congratulate all of the uh, uh, uniform uh, association, uniform society that have actually uh, supported the Malaysia origami movement. So namely, the Girl Guide uh, of uh, Malaysia, they have actually started their origami batch as well as a St. John Ambulance Malaysia they have also started to engage in origami uh, workshops and origami uh, webinars. So I think this is a very good momentum for us to have a cultural exchange with the Japanese ancient art of paper folding. And over the past five years, we have seen local Malaysian artists combining the Malaysia style of origami to create Malaysian origami related uh, artworks. So this is actually very encouraging uh, encouraging to see such a exchange in the cultural activities. So I hope that in the future years, uh, we can see more and more activities and we can stimulate more and more cultural exchange between Malaysia and Japan. So with that, I want, I'd, like, uh, I'd like to end my speech by saying happy World Origami Day and happy folding. All right, back to you, Nicholas. Thank you, Mr. Kenneth Chung. Now I would like to invite Inchek Salehuddin bin Mohammed Saleh. Konnichiwa. Honorable His Excellency Ambassador Hiroshi Oka, Japan Embassy in Malaysia, Mr. Shimada Seya, Director of Japan Foundation in Kuala Lumpur, Professor Dr. Jun Mitani, Japan Cultural Envoy, Mr. Kenneth Chung, founding president, Malaysia Origami Academy, and Mr. Isrami Ismail, deputy president, the Alumni Look East Policy Society. Congratulations to Pertubuhan Origami Malaysia, MOA, for taking good initiative to organize such event. Once again, heartfelt thank you to Embassy of Japan in Malaysia and the Japan Foundation in Kuala Lumpur for your continuous unwavering support. The National Department for Culture and Arts, GAKKN, is excessively active in collaborating with MOA for such an auspicious program. Our recent Living Arts Cultural Festival from 29 to the 31st of October 2021 was a good start to introduce Origami Malaysia to the rest of the world. I was made to understand that for the year 2021, despite the difficulties of the entire Malaysian society facing the COVID-19 pandemic, MOA will continue to celebrate World Origami Day 2021. Taking aspirations from the highest art of paper folding, the successful Malaysian origami art of human folding with complex design using a piece of paper without scissors and stickers within 50 hours, entitled Ancient Dragon. Once again, congratulations to Pertubuhan Origami Malaysia, MOA, and please do not stop here. Prolong your kind-hearted activities for the betterment and well-being of mankind. Domo arigato gozaimasu, dewa mata. Thank you so much, Inchek Salehuddin. So now I would like to invite His Excellency Ambassador Hiroshi Oka, uh, Japan Embassy in Malaysia, to present his officiating speech. Hello, Mr. Kenneth Chen, the President of Malaysia Origami Association, ladies and gentlemen. Selamat putan semua. 
It is a great pleasure for me to join this origami, World Origami Day celebration today. Allow me first to extend my deepest appreciation to Mr. Kenneth Chen and the Malaysian Origami Academy team for their dedicated efforts to promote the traditional Japanese art of origami here in Malaysia and also for organizing today's special virtual celebrations on the occasion World the Origami Day. Although we still may not be able to meet face to face, I'm very excited to be a part of this special event and to meet so many origami enthusiasts of all ages across the country, Malaysia. It is wonderful to see how the Japanese Asian art of folding paper origami has inspired so many people worldwide, including Malaysians. Miss Mr. Kenneth Chen, of course, is, is very much passionate with origami, became the first Malaysians to found the Malaysian Origami Association and the Malaysian Origami Academy in order to further promote and share the beauty of folding papers, origami, not just as a leisure purposes, but also for the educational purposes as well. And for that, it is my greatest pleasure and honor for me, officially announced that Mr. Kenneth Chen has been honored by the Japanese Foreign Minister's Award Commendation for 2021 for his dedicated hard work and efforts to promote continuously the art of origami in Malaysia. I'd like to add my personal congratulations to him on this prestigious award. In many exciting events and celebrations are being held in today's, the uh, conjunction with today's World Origami Day. Among the highlights and stand are the activities, the virtual exhibitions to showcase the marvelous artwork of nine Malaysian origamis and a fellow origamist from the United States, America, Mr. Boyce Wong. And certainly every piece of art showcased deepen your interest towards origami inspired everyone here to create something so intricate, so typical, like the recreation of the Asian dragon ordered by Mr. Nicholas Law. I'm always very impressed that such the one piece of paper you are folding, you're able to fold and create such an amazing masterpiece. And as a Japanese, I was delighted to see many Malaysian origamists were so talented and creative in performing the works of Japanese traditional art of origami. But of course, the, it's very important to acknowledge the skills and technology of origami is not only for folding papers or just the leisure purposes. In fact, other countries have begun to explore the application of advanced origami in many fields including architectural designs, mathematics, and science. It is encouraged for young children, like some of you here, to learn the concept of origami as the powerful by motor skills, which involve the children, the brains, the muscles, nervous systems, all of which are required to function together with the mental concentration, which is very much important to discover the boundaries applications of origami for the young church. I remember early days, years when we celebrated Malaysia Origami Day in April this year. The Malaysian Girl Guys Association just launched the origami badges, as Mr. Ken's club, the Chen, explained as a part of the co-curricular activities. I believe that was indeed a good start for schools to begin looking into origami as a part of the educational programs. I'm hopeful that this annual event can serve as a platform for Malaysians, all the Malaysians, to experience more Japan through the fascinating art of traditional art of holding papers origami. And I hope that art of origami continues to strengthen the friendship between Japan and Malaysia. Happy folding and enjoy the beauty of origami throughout the day. Thank you and tell me
así. Thank you so much, His Excellency Ambassador Hiroshi Oka, for that very heartfelt message. So now I would like to invite Mr. Shimada Seya, Director of Japan Foundation in Kuala Lumpur, to present his speech. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Kenneth Chen, uh, the founder of Origami Association of Malaysia, His Excellency Ambassador Oka Hiroshi. The Embassy of Japan in Malaysia. Mr. Salehuddin bin Mohammed Saleh, Deputy Director General, National Department for Culture and Arts. Professor Dr. John Mitani, Mr. Islami Ismail, Deputy President of the Online Lucas Policy Society. The participants and audiences, a very good afternoon, Sarmaputan and Konnichiwa. It is honored for me to be invited for this important annual event, which is dedicated origami enthusiasts in the world. First of all, on behalf of the Japan Foundation Kuala Lumpur, I would like to congratulate Mr. Kenneth Chen for being conferred with the Japanese Foreign Minister's commendation for the year 2021. I would like to take this opportunity to thank him for his effort and dedication in continuously promoting the art and science of paper folding in Malaysia. Early this year, the Japan Foundation Kuala Lumpur published our own YouTube channel, and we are pleased to introduce a Japanese arts and culture through a series of videos, which is titled JFKL mini series. Our intention is to interview and introduce Malaysians who are enthusiastic about any type of the Japanese art and culture. The first episode of the JFK mini series is regarding origami and where we interviewed Mr. Kenneth. He kindly shared his experience and including how he started to become involved with origami more than 10 years ago. He also showed his origami collection and demonstrated how to fold while gurami. So please visit our YouTube channel to enjoy his episode. <clears throat> With the celebration of World Origami Day, I believe origami can be one of important ways for cultural exchange between Japan and the other world. In addition to that, I wish this art form would give space for everyone to express themselves, making to, ex to express themselves or making new friends, refunctioning your brain and spending happy moment. Before finishing my speech, let me express my full respect to all staff members gathered to organize this meaningful event who are staying behind the, this video image. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Shimada Seya, for that meaningful message. So now I would like to invite Professor Dr. Jun Mitani, Japan Cultural Envoy from Japan, to present this speech. Hello, everyone. My name is Jun Mitani from University of Tsukuba. I'd like to send you a video message from here in Japan. I am very happy to celebrate today the World Origami Day with you again, as we did last year. Firstly, I would like to thank Mr. Kenneth Chen and Mr. Nicholas Lowe from Malaysia Origami Academy and Malaysia Origami Association for organizing this event. In October and November of 2019, I traveled to Asian countries as a cultural envoy to promote cultural exchange through Japanese origami. I traveled to eight countries in South Asia, including China, the Philippines, Bangladesh, India, Thailand, Myanmar, Vietnam, and Malaysia. In Malaysia, the third country I visited, I went to Kuala Lumpur and Penang to give lectures and workshops on origami. 
exactly two years ago today, the 11th November. I was lucky enough to celebrate World Origami Day in Kuala Lumpur with the Origami Academy and Malaysia Origami Association. The days I spent in Kuala Lumpur and Penang are very nostalgic and have wonderful memories. I am still very grateful to the many people who supported me. In particular, I would like to thank Mr. Kenneth Jens, the Malaysia Origami Academy, Malaysia Origami Association, and the Japan Foundation in Kuala Lumpur. It has been more than a year since the COVID-19 made it difficult to travel across the border. We are keenly aware of how blessed and free our lives have been so far. However, we are still able to communicate with each other through the internet. It is wonderful that science and technology have enabled us to overcome inconveniences and create this new form of communication. I heard that many online workshops were held at this origami event. Even in Japan, many of this year's origami events have been held online. Even if it is not face to face, this kind of communication between people is essential to enrich our lives and maintain peace. As already you have known, as a tool for communication, origami is very effective. This is evidenced by the fact that many people are now participating in these origami events. Regardless of age, nationality, or gender, as long as we have pieces of paper, we can share a good time through origami. I am happy that we are celebrating World Origami Day in this way to deepen the exchange between Japan and Malaysia. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, uh, Professor Dr. Dun Mitani, for that speech. Now I would like to invite Injek Isrami Ismail, Deputy President, the Alumni Look East Policy Society, to present his speech. Mr. Kenneth Cheng, uh, President of uh, Malaysia Origami Association. His Excellency Hiroshi Oka, Ambassadors of Japan in Malaysia, and Che Salahuddin, Chief Information Officer, Nationals Department for Futures for Cultures and Arts, Mr. Shimada Seya, Director of Japan Foundation in Kuala Lumpur, Professor Dr. Jun Mitani, Japan uh, Cultural Envoy, Madam Toh Wo Uiwa, Branch uh, Chief Commissioners, Kuala Lumpur Girl Guides Associations, Mr. Ng Kwan Cheek, Regional Staff Officer, Sign John Ambulance Malaysia, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to congratulate Mr. Kenneth Cheng, Mr. Nicholas Lau, and all members of Malaysia Origami Association for the event today. On behalf of ELAPS, we are very honored to be invited to this uh, remarkable event. I would, like, uh, I would also like to congratulate uh, Mr. Kenneth uh, for his uh, foreign uh, minister commendations this year. Next year, Malaysia will be celebrating its 40th anniversary of uh, Look East policy. Under the aspirations of Look East policy, Malaysia government aims to have more Malaysians learn about the values and success story from Japan. And it is a responsibility for those who have been to Japan or have acquired the knowledge from Japan to disseminate this knowledge that they have gained to other Malaysians. As we can see today, Malaysia Origami Association has placed its roles not only to promote the knowledge in Japanese uh, origami among Malaysians, but also to localize the origami techniques by adding Malaysia's originality into their works. I was I always amazed by origami. Although origami is commonly popular as a kid's craft, origami is not only about folding a piece of paper. 
origami teach about geometry, thinking skills, fractions, problem solving, patience. And origami can be enjoyed by various level of community from a small child to a senior citizen. It various level of difficulties suits different intelligence level from a preschool student to even a PhD holder. One of the important lessons that we should learn from origami is how Japanese has successfully turned their traditional craft into something that has evolved and played important roles in technology. As we can see today, origami is not only a child's play, but also a part of rocket science. I hope Malaysia Origami Association will continue to promote origami for the betterment of education in Malaysia, as well as for the bilateral relations between Malaysia and Japan. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you so much for that speech, Inchek Isarwi Ismail. So now I would like to pass the floor over to Ms. Wong, MC of Embassy of Japan. Thank you, Nicholas. Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Konnichiwa. My name is Wong. Welcome to the Japanese Foreign Minister's Commendation Award Ceremony. To begin the ceremony today, please allow me to call upon His Excellency Oka Hiroshi, Ambassador of Japan, to say a few words. Your Excellency. Thank you. Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, uh, thank you for allowing me to appear in this the World Origami, the celebration, but for different purposes, which is to present Japanese Foreign Minister's Commendation Award to a very friend, Mr. Ken. My thanks goes to all of our friends who are coming up to join this very auspicious occasion. Every year, Japanese Foreign Minister choose the uh, groups and the individuals who have made outstanding, enormous contributions for making friendship between Japan and awards his foreign minister's commendation in order to express his deep respect and the appreciation. On behalf of the Japanese government this year, I'm pleased and honored to announce that Mr. Kenneth Chen, the president of Malaysia Origami Association, has been awarded this very much prestigious Japanese Foreign Minister's Commendation for the year 2021, in recognition of his outstanding contributions for making friendship between Japan and Malaysia through origami art. Since his early years, Mr. Kenneth has always been fascinated about the origami, the idea of turning a sheet of paper into remarkable creations first fascinated him as early as when he was seven years old. It was while working in Japan for eight years, his passion grew deeper and stronger, surrounded by influence of Japanese arts and culture. He realized that there is no trick than just holding paper into beautiful creations, but such he began to attain the knowledge of teaching origami in Japan as he saw the potential and benefits in the learning process of origami holding papers. In 2004, Mr. Kenneth founded the Malaysian Origami Academy with the aim of providing classes and workshops here in Malaysia. It is the first educational program for origami in Malaysia and the only professional body accredited with origami skill levels, certification, and instructor certification programs. After returning to Malaysia from Japan in 2011, Mr. Kenneth formed the Malaysian Origami Association in 2014, dedicated to promote the art of origami and provide a platform for origami enthusiasts to share knowledge and experience. April 15th this year, the seventh anniversary of Malaysia Origami Day was celebrated. This milestone marks an achievement of the hard work and dedicated efforts on the part of Mr. Kenneth 
and his entire team from Origami Association and Academy. Ever since then, Mr. Kenneth never looked back and kept pursuing, looking forward what he loves and has been promoting Origami to Malaysia through various activities. We very much thankful for his single-handed dedicatedness to promote Japanese traditional art of origami. In 2018, one of his highlights was breaking the Malaysia's book of records by creating the largest Malaysia's flag using as many as thousands of origami frames. I must also mention that I was delighted to be handed over the world first origami durian. I have been informed that it took almost 45 hours to complete this artist. Mr. Sun even used a special paper to imitate the texture of durian. This is the world first origami durian. Well, this is very much heavy and looks so real. The thorny spines but lacks only the smell, but it looks so real. Well, as you can see, it so looks real and delicious where well, I have to need to cut it off. This among other beautiful origami creations represented Malaysian culture, which stand as a significant enhancement of artistic and cultural exchanges between Japan and Malaysia. Mr. Kenneth also actively promotes origami through lecturing at universities by introducing how computational origami is being developed and how origami designs apply in fields such as medicine and architecture. He also visits primary and secondary schools to share the arts and how to do origami. Earlier this year, the Malaysian Law Guides launched an origami match as part of their co curricular activities. This is one of the many origami organizations Mr. Kenneth collaborated with a part of his activities in reaching out to as many as the Malaysians, as many as Malaysian organizations, as many as Malaysian schools possible to let them learn about and experience the art of origami. Before concluding, I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations once again on this great achievement that Mr. Kenneth single-handedly made with his friends to promote origami in this friendly country, Malaysia. As such, I'm very much honored to present this commendation award on behalf of the Japanese government and Japanese foreign minister. I hope Mr. Kenneth will continue to further promote origami across Malaysia and aspire as many origami enthusiasts like every one of you here contributing to the cordial ties between Japan and Malaysia. Wishing you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ambassador. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I would like to welcome Mr. Kenneth Tung to come back to the screen for receiving the award. I would like to ask your ambassador uh, to read the text on the certificate. Yeah. Uh, it's just after reading the Japanese, this is a uh, English uh, the, uh, the viewers, uh, let me uh, read out in English. So, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Japan extends his deepest regard and respect to Mr. Kenneth Chen. The British services in promoting mutual and improved culture between Japan and Malaysia. Awarded on August 20th, 2021, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Japan. Thank you, Ambassador. May I invite Mr. Keniston to receive the certificate? <laughs> Please 
smile to the camera so that we can take a screenshot. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Ambassador, for the presentation. May I ask Mr. Keniston to show the certificate to the camera again for the screenshot? Okay. Thank you. And without further delay, I would like to invite Mr. Keniston to present his acceptance speech. Thank you very much to uh, Embassy of Japan, His Excellency. Ambassador Hiroshi Oka. Uh, thank you for commending me uh, through the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs uh, in Japan uh, on this uh, special recommendation. Uh, this is a very good and strong uh, recognition to the Malaysia origami movement. And I would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank all the people that is involved directly or indirectly in this uh, pushing and promoting the art and science of origami in Malaysia. And uh, also, I would like to take this opportunity to bid a uh, farewell to Ambassador Oka. I've been informed that Ambassador Oka has taken up a new assignment. And I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you and bid farewell to him. And uh, let me show this. Uh, this is actually the first origami while pushing. It has not been shown or presented to anyone yet. So I would like to take this opportunity to personally hand this over to the Embassy of Japan. Yes, while pushing the, uh, the cat kite. And this is one piece of paper with no cuts and no gluing. Wow. From one piece of paper, uh, one side is black and one side is golden. So this is one piece of uncut, the traditional art of origami. All right, so I'll be passing this uh, personally over to the Embassy of Japan in Kuala Lumpur. And with that, I hope that uh, origami, the art of ancient Japanese uh, paper folding, will flourish and also not only in the artistic field, but also in the academic and in the scientific field uh, through the uh, closer collaboration between Malaysia and Japan. With that, thank you very much and happy folding out. Thank you, Mr. Keniston. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now reached the end of our award ceremony. On behalf of the Embassy of Japan, we would like to thank Malaysia Oligami Association for allowing us to host the ceremony on this World Oligami Day. Thank you everyone for joining the ceremony. I will now hand over the floor to Nicholas. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wong. So now let us have a good photo. All right, all the uh, uh, VIP. So, ready? We're going to have a group photo for this uh, historical moment. Ready? One, two, and three. All right, and let me uh, pick up my mask. <laughs> one, one of us. All right, so, all right, so ready? One, Two, three. Thank you. All right, so thank you everyone for joining us here today. But we are not yet done with our World Origami Day celebration. So tonight we still have one more workshop. So to every participant here, uh, you don't want to miss it. All right, thank you. Uh, all of the participants, thank you to Ambassador uh, Hiroshi Oka, thank you to Shimada-san, thank you to uh, Mr. Is uh, Islami Ismail, and thank you to uh, Panto and uh, Mr. Ng. Uh, happy World Origami Day, and I hope to our, cro our path will cross again with Ambassador Oka. And next year, we are looking forward to the 40th uh, anniversary of uh, Loop East uh, policy and to celebrate even more with two upcoming Malaysia Book of Record in Oregon. With that, bye-bye.